Hi hey everyone, let's do a quick demo in which we'll see how a page level variable is used with a dynamic form to um, flip a layout of a dynamic form. So in this form, I've created two um, layouts, internal and external. And the idea is when I'll flip the radio button by saying uh, internal or external, some fields in the dynamic form will be hidden. Example, if I uh, click on external, then we'll hide the department and internal trainings. Yeah. So let's get started. So for this particular example, we would use uh, context on the dynamic form. It's a property on dynamic form. So this, uh, let's create a variable and name it. Um, profile type and this variable is of type object so I'll select object here and then I'll go to variables I'm going to add one more field inside it uh, let's name it profile so let's go back to page designer and uh, on the dynamic form um, we would uh, on the dynamic form, I'll go to the layouts. Um, as you can see, already created two layouts. One is for the internal profile and one is for the external profile. So the layout, which is uh, with external profile, um, as you can see, already hidden internal trainings and department fields. So um, let's go back and add conditions. So for the internal layout, I'll pick a uh, property. Um, in the which we added in the subfield of the context object and we'll say if it is internal pick the internal profile and if the value of the component context dot profile is external then pick the um, external layout so now let's go back to our page now we have layouts configured and uh, conditions added and they are mapped to component context. Now is the time to add event listener on the radio button and flip the um, value, uh, which would be mapped to the uh, context of the dynamic form. So I'll go here, add an event. So I'll do uh, value change listener, then I'll just do the component context. So I'll pick dynamic form. And I'll just do refresh and uh, um, let's go back to the radio button and add the value. So now this value would be uh, mapped to what we added inside the uh, object, um, object for the component context. So this is the profile I'll pick as a value of this. So let's go to live mode and quickly test it. So if I pick external profile, notice how uh, department and internal trainings got hidden. I'll go back to internal profile and department and internal trainings are back. All right, take care, bye-bye.